Hi my friends, today we model this part that has the name two arms handle. You see this is the handle and these are the two arms. The drawing is here with all dimensions. You have to see to observe or to note that this is an ellipse. An ellipse with dimensions 5, 12.5. You also have to know that uh, this is radius 19 from this uh, point of the ellipse or this uh, Arc. We start by creating the ellipse and applying uh, extrude. Dimensions are 12. This is the button point of the ellipse, this end point, and 50 here. Let's place this uh, ellipse in the XY plane. Ellipse with dimensions. Twelve point five and five. The placement is uh, from here to here fifty. plus 12.5 I select this from here and the other dimension is here with the value of uh, 12 plus this dimension okay we have a fully constrained sketch. As you can see, the extrusion is 126. Extrude, extrude, not revolve. Symmetrical, 126. Good. Next is uh, this arm this with dimensions from the sketch is 12 but this is the center point my friends yes we use this point very well so we have uh, all dimensions here remember radius 14.5 and we select this plane for a new sketch. You see here the center point. I draw a line from this point down. Then I keep press the left button to go somewhere here. Then I keep press again the left button to go around the center point. I keep press the left button, I go here and up with the line. With this line. I make some uh, arrangements. This is parallel to the vertical. 
this point is placed right here but I cannot select the horizontal point so I use this and tangent tangent to the ellipse now I move a little this circle to see if we have any problem we don't have so I apply coincident between these two points the radius here is uh, 14 point and very interesting this uh, line and this line have the same horizontal at 50 I apply 50 from this point to this point 50 and I place on the same horizontal these two ends. Now I have everything placed here but it needs another dimension. Let's see what is that dimension. it was this tangency finish sketch we apply extrusion of this to the other direction on 6 ok now we go to creating this uh, shape by using dimensions from here radius 12 is uh, on this direction and radius 19 is on the other direction we'll use this plane to create uh, these uh, cuts plane based on this and containing this point this plane F7 and I try to project this and you see I have only this line and this line but not what I want to have control Z I draw a line from this point you see green yes and now you also see green the same for the other side I see green at the end this means that this point is uh, uh, placed ok then an arc from here to here with radius 12 another arc with radius 12 both are on the same horizontal but uh, <laughs> this is vertical and this is horizontal so I use vertical to place these two on the same horizontal dimensions are 31 here 31 and uh, here is 19 and 25 between the centers 25 we have a fully constrained sketch yes sir we have but I want to good then we apply revolve this uh, line is the 
the axis. Revolve of this cut and this cut about this axis. I didn't make it center uh, line because I don't want to have many work to do. Not join but cut. And you can see we obtain what we wanted. Visibility. Now we apply this radius 3 and the other fillets of 1.5. Good. I select this. I apply fillet 3 to both plus 1.5 for this, this and also this. Okay. Then I apply mirror for fillet revolution and extrusion. I don't select this last fillet. Then I use this plane for mirror. Now I apply separately fillet of 1.5 for this face, this face and this uh, edge. Then I select this face to catch this point because I want to apply this hole of 14 through both arms. Hole through all. This point diameter is already placed. Good. Then a chamfer of one millimeter one to both this edge and this other edge. Okay. Now we have finished the part. Let's see what about the volume. I properties physical update copy close drawing double click and the truth you see it is absolutely the same cancel I don't change anything we go to material which must be stainless steel and if you want we hide edges now we can compare the two parts and you see nothing modified that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye